I asked a uh, relatively new consumer representative in our network um, how they felt knowing that they're a part of this. And, um, and they said that they had no idea that they were part of what they saw as an ant farm of empowered consumers that are all beavering away with the same goal and the same passion to improve the health system. So I love that this gives you an opportunity to see that you're not alone in your passion, you're not alone in your challenges, and you're not alone because we're here to support you. Putting it simply, I think it's about both staff and consumers taking the time to walk in each other's shoes. And in doing that, it's the only way that you can develop a shared understanding of what's important. I see it as being really critical for health organisations to partner with consumers. I don't know how you can design services or create new programs without actually talking with the people who are going to be using it. We need to make sure that all Queenslanders have a voice in how our health system delivers services to them. That's why the work of Health Consumers Queensland is so important and why I'm so pleased to be at their conference today. Often the lived experiences that people are having outside of a clinical setting have a really huge impact on, on their health and well-being. Keeping consumers involved in the design and the delivery of services I think is, is really critical. We've had so much buy-in from staff, from our executive, from our consumers that you know we're really excited for what we've achieved and then also what we're going to do in the future as well.